Today, a change at the State House designed to help our veterans. As WBZ's Anna Myler shows us, this overhaul came as a result of two tragedies during the pandemic. In response to the horrible tragedies at the two soldiers' homes during the pandemic, the state created a new executive office of veteran services. This morning, John Santiago was sworn in as the leader of that office and says he's on a mission to make changes. Congratulations. <laughs> At the State House this morning, Governor Maura Healey formally swore in John Santiago as Massachusetts' very first secretary of the Executive Office of Veterans Services. Santiago is a former state representative, a major in the U.S. Army Reserve, and an emergency room doctor at Boston Medical Center. In his new position, he'll be in charge of the superintendents of the state's two soldiers' homes. In 2020, 77 veterans died from COVID-19 at the Holyoke Soldiers' Home and a scathing inspectors general report released last year blasted the leadership there. 31 veterans died from COVID at the Chelsea Soldiers Home. That was a tragedy and that's what we're here to rectify. Uh, the tools are in there to do something about it. As you know, the governor just released her budget and the budget inc includes about 11% increase in the Department of Veteran Services to become the Executive Office of Veteran Services. So there's an injection of resources, of human resources to rectify the problem. I'm looking forward to leading that effort. Santiago says he will bring his skills from his military service and his experience as a physician to this new role. He says he's celebrating today and then hitting the ground running, working with his colleagues across the state to better serve our veterans. Reporting from the State House, Anna Myler, WBZ News.